Hello, good day everyone. Today I would like to share you for those a very beginner level for the Revit users. So basically, when you are at the beginner level and you really have uh no any knowledge about Revit, or you we can say is that you're a zero knowledge Revit user, then you will have to you will face this problem. Okay, I, I can tell you. Okay, what what is what what is it about? So basically, when you install Revit, uh, there will be some uh scenario that can happen. So first thing, you just bought a new laptop or PC, then you install the Revit and trial version or license version, whatever. You cannot see any template or you cannot see library components. This is one scenario. Second. Sometimes the, the laptop or your PC spec is very low, so you cannot install the high, higher version, the highest version. Nowadays, we got Revit 2024, 23, latest 24. So, but you, after you install, you cannot find anything, first thing. Second thing, you cannot install because your computer spec is very low and you need to install 2017, 18 or 19, but some nowadays very, very difficult to find 2019 because in Revit's um, official website, you cannot find Revit 2019 already. They don't allow you to download. So uh, they already uh, removed from the website. Okay, anyway, there is a, the very important message I, want, I would like to give is even though you install Revit 2022 or 23 or 24, which I mean is a very latest version of the Revit, the problem we will find is the template and the Revit family sometimes broken and compared to the very old version. So I usually try to recommend to use back the very earlier version. Sometimes, uh, last time when I used for Revit 2000, let's say 15 version, I try to find back Revit 2010 version, you know, because it's uh, the family there, the components there are really, really good and you will find it very, very nice and neat. Okay, anyway, why I would like to share this topic today as the very first most for my uh, Revit, uh, all, all along the Revit beginner level uh, trainee lessons. So I will show you the Revit file and I will share you what it can happen when you lost a template, when you cannot open, how you should you can do it. Okay, before that, I will put this in the description or comment. I will give this link, okay, this Google Drive link in the description. And even in the comment, if you, you you would like to see, which is you can download, feel free to download from my Google Drive about all these uh, Revit 2017, 18, and 19 template, plus all these uh, metric Revit templates. Revit templates means not only uh, project template, also family component template. So every template will be there. Also those are built in uh, Revit families that already have as a default are there. So you will find it's very, very easy and you will find it very, very useful to you, okay? So let's go to the Revit software, but okay, I repeat again, you can get the link and download all these files free, okay? I have this link is later I'll show you why I put this here. Okay, so let's go to the Revit software. I close the PowerPoint first. Okay, here. Here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> so basically when you start Revit, you will see like a new project or wherever your trainer will show you how to open a new project, how to open the existing project. So no matter how, when you open by right, it should have a template over here because it's a template file. So basically you will see either architecture or structure or 
mechanical or electrical or plumbing and even for construction. Okay, so but sometimes you won't see it because I will show you this. When you go here, uh, as a option, okay, here file option here. Okay, you can find all these template, all these uh, construction, architectural, blah, blah, blah. All these things will be here, which is under this uh, C program data, blah, blah, blah. So all these link, all these file location is there, but sometime you may miss it. For example, I will share you, I, I, I will share you this because you will surely have this problem sooner or later when you start using the project, okay? So I go to that folder. Hold on a second first. I can give it to you. Give me a minute. I'm still copying the file. Uh, okay. I want to show the location. Okay, got it. <clears throat> I share you the screen again. So, okay, here. So this is the location that just now I show you in the slides. So this is under C program data, Autodesk, RBT2022 template, blah, blah, blah. So I need to explain to you a little bit more, okay? So you need to understand that in Revit, after you go to this C program data, Autodesk here, I will show you very interesting things, okay? There is a folder called name starting with RVT, which means Revit, plus 2019, 20, 21, 22, 23, means that this is the software version. So if you were install a new software, new version, you can find all these templates under here, but sometimes it's missing. So for example, libraries here, you can see this in English, but inside got nothing much, okay? So then you go back and see, for me, I installed 2019. 19 library got this four. Is you will see differently, okay? I go back again, huh? you can see here, 2023, even though I install is completely have all this folder, you cannot see other families like it's like empty. Okay. Inside this English, you only can see structure precast and root analysis, but inside got nothing much. But you go, that's why I I this is the reason why I'm sharing this. When you go back to 2019 version, you got this. US metric, imperial, even for the Singapore, okay? So all these families for architecture, structure, and MEP stuff are all there. So you can uh, use it back. But sometimes, even for this template, template means the project template, you can see here all these uh, uh, construction, all these things. So, okay, go back there. I will share you something first. So you see, for example, I'm using Revit 2022, but in the template, I have all these templates. For example, I just make it this way. I delete, I remove it, okay? I will put it somewhere. Okay, I'll put it somewhere, uh, maybe here. I just create a new folder. Uh, you don't have to follow this because I just want to assume that this one, when you install your software, you don't have template file inside. Okay, so that means if you don't have all these uh, uh, software inside, so what will happen is like here, we open the Revit 2022, 
back to the as a new okay you will see something magic okay give me a few seconds my laptop is uh, quite old okay so my intention for this lesson is when you uh become a beginner to use Revit, first thing you will face is when you install, you cannot find any template, you cannot find any library. So how you are going to do that? So first thing, you download what I have given in my Google Drive. You can download 2017, 18, 19 template. Okay. If you want, I can share 2022, 3, 4 or so. Okay. So when I start new project here, I can't see anything now because when I start installing Revit, I don't successfully install with all this required template because it's not there. So then you you step there. So when I was beginner level, okay, I totally no idea what Revit can work, how it works, how the user interface work. Okay, then I face this, this same issue. I cannot find my template. So I dig and study. I I read a lot of um, lessons about all these things. So this is because I'm missing all this information. So first thing first, you have to do this thing, okay? So what you have to follow up is very simple. Go to this link. I will share in my description and comments so you can find easily. So you just go this and you will find my Google Drive and you will see all these Revit 2017, 18, 19. Okay, if you wish, you can comment uh, for 2000, whatever version, okay? <laughs> Currently, most of the people request me for 17, 18, 19. So you just need to download and you can place anywhere. Okay, so basically, you if you are using 2022, you go and check PC, uh, C drive, program data, Autodesk, Revit, whatever version, RVT, 2021, 22, 23, whatever. So I just copy the whole thing inside this folder, and then you can see everything. Or another way you can do is you can go back here and <clears throat> you go here, file options. Then you can step from going to the file location and you plus. Now, after you plus, you have to go to the same directory. <clears throat> then you, you can copy and paste also. Okay? You copy, paste, and then you just put there so you can get all the list of uh, architectural templates, retro template, a mechanical, electrical, or whatever. So that is the way that you can do that. Okay, first thing. So I will put it back that I copy, okay? But this, another way is you can put in your desktop, on your desktop or wherever you want, you can copy here. Also, you can go go to this. So uh, you go to template, you can give this a single ball. So you just copy this thing, right click and copy. This is the way I do. So after that, I go to the Revit. And then if I will start a new project, I can go to the browse, right click and paste, go here. So I can see this template also. That is another way you can do that. Okay, anyway. So the best and easiest way is copy, download, and you copy all these uh, download. Uh, okay, go back to here. So you are downloaded fast, all this copy right click copy or cut and paste also can so you go back to your 2022 version and go back to this uh entire things to be paste so that is the best way okay so let me go back this and put it back to his uh is a uh, initial location here okay so this is the first thing i would like to share so you can download anytime feel free and you can put it back, okay? So after I have done this, 
I can start create a new so you can see all these things is magic, okay? So let's say I create, a, <clears throat> I start with the architectural template. I will say another thing, okay? So first thing first, I want to go to insert and load family, which is I would like to put like door or whatever. But like I said before, inside Revit 2022 library, there is nothing much about architectural or structure or many stuff, only a few items here. So if you have installed other version, it's okay. You just uh, go back what to here, go to program data Autodesk, and then go to me, I have installed everything. So go to Revit 2019 libraries, Probably you want to use a US metric or if you are using the Imperial, you can use the Imperial. Uh, also go to the Singapore. So you can have those uh, architectural stuff, structural stuff and many stuff. For example, I want to use a doors. Here are tons of uh, doors components like external door, internal doors. So you can click and just import only. So that much easy. So I would suggest you download my file, copy this, place to here. So it's very much easy to you and get ready to uh, start your beginner level, okay? So you can comment whatever lessons you want to learn from me. I will open to share. Is uh, I, will, I will try my best to share everything I know because I have been working in this industry more than 12 years okay so for today i hope you're enjoying these things it's really useful for a very beginner level so <clears throat> don't forget to download and leave the comments that whatever topics that you want to learn from me <clears throat> if you even have some issues doing um some uh, your in your your real project do let me know Okay, I like to help people. Since day one of my journey studying in the Revit, the first thing I do is I learn from the seniors and I try my best to contribute my knowledge to everybody. So sharing is caring, of course. So I like sharing and I'm open for everybody whatever questions you want, I try my best to solve your problems, okay? So this community, all these uh, Revit user, Revit professional, we can call it a BIM professionals, can be uh, a very big community helping each other. That would be very, very good. I like this kind of practice. Okay, anyway, so that, uh, I, I believe that my sharing for this topic is very useful to you those very beginner level who are facing the problem with uh, uh, new software in your hand, okay? Uh, from then, you can try to explore um, this uh, how to manipulate, uh, how to navigate your graphic model. So the next uh, a few lessons will be this way. I will share about those Revit users who are not to be BIM modeler, who are just a user to explore the BIM done by those uh, professional BIM modeler, how they model and we are just a checker, model checker, okay? So I will share about this, how to navigate your views, how to open the plan, how to cast session, how the 3D session works, section box works, or whatever. So this will be uh, upcoming uh, lessons about my sharing. So hopefully this lessons help you so much and I'm looking forward uh, I'm looking forward to your questions and some uh, tips. okay. Thank you. So see you in the next lesson. Uh, I believe uh, we all can keep in touch through the comments. Good day.